so the mid boost from the guitar just pushes it nicely. Nice separation. And it's got a boost, I believe, so if I hit this switch, so I can actually crank it a little. Yeah, that box. Working on the guitarist principle that more is more, I'm going to boost it and add my mid boost. <laughs> Touch the tone control yet. Uh, one of the things I like most about an amp is when I just sit down and play it. I don't really think about it. <laughs> and it does sound nice. It's very clear when you want it to be clear. But to be able to go from that to that just with a foot switch and my mid boost is very useful. Uh, definitely in the studio, absolutely no question, because I've got it at a volume that is uh, uh, not just bearable, it's very pleasant. Um, I'm not having to put a pair of headphones on or any earplugs in, and I'm still able to make it drive uh, and make it squeal. Um, small gigs, uh, big gigs with the line out, obviously usable. Um, yeah, I'd probably use it in every working situation that I encounter. Lovely. It seems to go nicely between those really lovely, clear American front end to the more squidgy, you know, classic Brit. It's just starting to crank up a little bit, but not, not full-blooded distortion. That's that little bit of, of graininess and bark coming into it. And it's very, it's, if you set it like that, you can then, but just back off the guitar volume, you're back to, uh, to beautiful clarity. one.